but no yeah like it, there is a bit of that like a little bit of, but you know like you say like do I love all that like kind of just like songwriting like that like you say like Roy Orbison or whatever all that like a, I've always and like harmonies and stuff like that's always been like a thing but which we've never really like got to with with this yeah yeah but like you said yeah I think them songs on EP almost like qualified us to be able to have this song on this album if you know what I mean like qualified's perhaps the wrong word but yeah. you know what I mean like prophesized opened the door to they, were, they were like stepping stones towards making a song like this be, yeah um, yeah I mean uh, there's quite a few different elements on the album where um, there are echoes of, of other eras of, of music which I really like and I think it's gonna, it will surprise quite a few people in a way um, you know, there's kind of some twangy guitar stuff that you know, like the surfy guitar. Yeah, there's yeah. surfy guitar, Link Ray type style, yeah, exactly. or on this track as well. It Rumble. kind of conjures up that other era. But then you put it together with obviously what you're doing now in the 21st century. Yeah. Um, so it's a nice combination. No, I like like all that, and um, and use like the baritone guitar quite a lot on the album, like the like sort of like a bit of like a lower sort of thing. A lot of that. Baritone. Exactly. <laughs> and so, who 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 plays some of those guitar parts? Is it you, Alex, or is it both, is it Jamie? Up both for us, really. Yeah. Like, we were sort of work it out as we went along. And that, and that was something like producers were very involved with as well. <laughs> Helping to get that sound. Yeah, right. just and, and yeah, like get sounds and also like the parts. Like we sort of all did it together. It a very much a like joint thing, but. Um, but yeah, no, I love all that sort of like the, and like the echo, like the space echoes and stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. <coughs> and lyrically, what's the only ones who know? Oh, that was just about? sort of me, it, me and um, remember it was me and my friend John McClough were once in like town, like like this is it's very old that song. Like I had that probably when we were recording the first album, but um, uh, no, in fact, probably a little bit after. But I kind of you know, I think it must have been just when like uni term had started back or whatever and there were, there were like these two like um this this lass and this lad in town like on a Sunday night and they were like asking for like directions or like somewhere to go like a bar or whatever and I don't know I just sort of it, they looked like they didn't quite know each other they'd like almost like maybe they'd been like bound together like they probably had like the room next door to each other in the hall sort of yeah yeah and following and, him and a big <laughs> so I followed him <laughs> for uh, yeah <laughs> six months after that. <laughs> and, no, but like I, so I just I don't know, but I got that impression from him, and then I thought, and then kind of daydreamed about it, and that. And the mm. results are here in this yeah. song, and this is it: Arctic Monkeys, only ones who know on exposure, XFM. Baritone. Arctic Monkeys, only ones who know. On Exposure, XFM, from the brand new album Favourite Worst, Nightmare. Do Me A Favour is the next track, and Alex and Nick are here talking us through it, track by track. And we mentioned uh, surf guitar, and, well, I mentioned Link Ray, and uh, that kind of rock and roll thing, and it can kind of continues in Do Me A Favour in a way, doesn't it? Very much so, yeah. Like, um, with the drums even on this, yeah. quite, like, that's, that's what made it, really. Like, again, this was a song that we'd had for a while, and then, like, the drum part really, like... So I think made it, and it's like probably it's like one of my favourite like things we've ever done. I think, like, but it, um, but like, yeah, the, there's like love like that drums. They sort of like like the rhythm on it is really good. Like, uh, it, like like you said, like all that like some of the like Link Ray and stuff like Johnny and the Hurricanes and like is it? yeah, like, and there's like millions in there, but um, and then. And then, and with the like the echoey sounds again and that like but and that that like a song that I wrote ages ago and so sort of we just through like listening to some of that stuff whatever kind of moved it into that world a bit and like but I think it was more comfortable. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And so when you come up with these songs uh, musically, um, do you you're in the rehearsal room and you're just kind of fiddling around and and Matt comes out with a. a a drum beat like that and then you somebody plays guitar on top of it is, is it all kind of quite natural it's, like that oh like oh you well we've always worked on drums quite a lot and and like 
Well, like, it'll be it'll play and you'll say, well, what about, like, try it, try it a bit, like, you know what I mean? Cause sort of kind of work on it together and that and, you know, try another one of them or whatever, like, I don't know. But uh, but with this one, that one we didn't even work out in, like, rehearsal room. We were in the studio, I think, and, and it was, like, a song that I had and I had, like, loads of verses for it and I had to kind of... Um, like clean it up a bit, like get rid of some of like the the bits, um, and and then the, we like got like the beat off this like the, you know like it were like inspired by this other this tune, like this surf tune, and then what a particular actual particular yeah, track. but I don't like surf. Then <laughs> yeah. you'll know which one we ripped off. <laughs> might get sued. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's always good to be nah, open this, about these things. It's not like quite the same. Yeah. <laughs> But you were inspired by Yeah, exactly, yeah. yeah. There's, there's a million like tunes with that. Not yeah. stolen, inspired. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And uh, it's a, a breakup song, I guess? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> a story <laughs> or personal <laughs> experience? Um. An inspired. <laughs> 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 borrowed. Uh, Stone, <laughs> no, no, yeah. Yeah, a bit, a bit of a, like, probably a bit of a personal one, I suppose. Right. Okay, this is it. Arctic Monkeys, do me a favour. Exposure, XFM. Arctic Monkeys, do me a favour. On Exposure, XFM from the brand new album Favourite Worst Nightmare. Getting the Exposure album playback treatment tonight. It's in the shops next week. But luckily you can hear the whole thing with Alex and Nick talking us through it track by track. This House is a Circus is the next song. And earlier on you mentioned DSG. And there's bits of this that kind of remind me of ESG in a way. Like, you know how like they they use a guitar um, note, like dee dee dee, yeah. to, and there's elements of this yeah. of that kind of in this in a, yeah. in a way. It has a kind of punky, funky exactly, kind of feel yeah. to it. No, there is on this one. It's kind of spooky as well. Mm. Yeah, kind of it's the one we worked out in studio as well. Rip this one off. Finger, <laughs> <laughs> um, baby boy. Yeah, it's ripped Where off like um, Destiny's Child. <laughs> Play, oh, right. play it back to back. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, d- maybe it'll work as a nice DJ Can compilation. Can you keep up, baby boy? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Sounds like that. But um, but no, yeah, like yeah, she, and like, like that Teddy picker that we were on about before, like the drums on that. We kind of went for that, like sort of almost like quite like dumb fills in a way, like drum fills and that, like quite like like basic ones. In yeah. It, like the things like this, like, but effective and, and like um. But yeah, and like all the sort of just like s- sort of spooky notes, and like we're doing like quite a lot of like you know, like delay and echo and like the notes. And that yeah, and it kind of builds up and builds yeah. up and builds yeah. up. Yeah, and like yeah, but like I'm into like structure, like arrangement of this one, very much. But like and like lyrics, I suppose in lyrically this one's like the most similar to um, the, what the sort of last album were about. Really, like this is the one, the one that's most similar. Cause it's like really just about like being in like a social situation or whatever. And, like, but it's just kind of this is a bit skewed. Like it's not sort of specific or um, meticulous, perhaps as the last the word maybe have described that situation. Right. Two years ago, but and um, with the first album. It seemed as if there was a fairly natural order to how you were going to do it, and I remember we yeah. we kind of talked about this and how the story, you know, yeah. it had to end uh, start with a particular song and end with a particular song yeah. and, and have a kind of epilogue in a way, and yeah. and the way it all went together. So, with this album, I presume it was quite different. I mean, you've already said that it's quite different. It had arguments about you know what should go first on yeah. this record and Not argument, yeah, discussions, debates, brawls, <laughs> <laughs> brawls. I like that idea. Um, 